Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again with the new topic uh, that is Operation Theatre. Uh, first of all, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more uh, new videos. Uh, so here we will start. Uh, today we will discuss about the uh, HVAC system for Operation Theatre, how to design and how to calculate the airflow requirements for Operation Theatre. Uh, for this uh, we will use these three standards that is ASHRAE 170. Uh, standard and FGI 2 for, uh, 2014, CDC 2003 and 2005. I have extracted the whole data from these standards in one document. Uh, so here we will start. Uh, what are the basic requirements for uh, operation theater? Uh, there are different uh, uh, operation theater used for different purposes are divided into three groups. One is the super specialty OT that are used for neurosciences, orthopedics, joint replacement and cardio, thoracic and transfer surgery. Second one is general OT. Third one is the daycare center. So these all are used for uh, oper uh, surgeries. Uh, so the basic HVC, uh, HVAC system is uh, same for all uh, these uh, groups of uh, OTs. Uh, so here we will start for the uh, uh, OT design. For OT design, you must know about the uh, 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 like the occupancy, how much persons are work, uh, will work in operation theater, what will be the equipment load, what will be the temperature, what will be the air changes, and uh, what different kind of filtration uh, you are required, and the uh, position of AHU you will be installed. So these uh, uh, parts of uh, OT will be discussed in this uh, video. Here we will start first of all is the uh, occupancy for the load calculation of operation theatre and air requirements you must know how much equipment will work in the uh, operation theatre that is the 5 to 8 persons so you have to calculate the air required for 5 to 8 persons and the uh, that is the uh, 250 to 300 BTU per hour for one person uh, and the equipment load that is the 5 to 7 kilowatt and the lightning load is 1 kilowatt should be considered if you have special equipment super specialty OT so your uh, equipment load will be 7 to 9 kilowatt so you will consider these in calculation of uh, cooling load and the ambient temperature and humidity at each location should be considered we will discuss uh, later uh, how much uh, temperature and what temperature you are uh, will be required for OT and what humidity will be required. Uh, so here we will start from the first uh, <coughs> uh, first uh, content, first uh, thing that uh, used for the design of HVAC system that is the air changes per hour. Uh, we can also call it ACH. So for the supply air, you must need 20 ACH and for uh, uh, fresh air you need 4 ACA that is recommended by ASHRAE 170. Uh, you can uh, check this document for this uh, further detail that is the ASHRAE 170 uh, code. Uh, so here uh, you can use 20 ACA that is the volume of OT multiplied by 20 divided by 60 it will give the CFM that will be required for supply and you will also add the CFM of persons, equipment and other uh, some factor of safety. <clears throat> so you must supp uh, supply air uh, according to this uh, ACH and how much fresh air required for OT that is the 4 ACH like you multiply the uh, OT volume with 4 and divided by 60 you will get the CFM that will be used as a fresh air. So this is the uh, supply air and fresh air requirements for OT and the 100% outdoor ventilation air are not mandatory in OT like the isolation room in which we supply 100% supply of fresh air and uh, 10 to 15% more air should be exhausted. <coughs> uh, so this type of system like isolation system is not recommended or not mandatory in uh, OT system. So the air should be supplied and recirculated within the filtration system for OT. Second main concern is the air velocity. Air velocity is the main concern in uh, operation theater design that is the uh, 25 to 35 APM, uh, FPM. So whenever you use the uh, air velocity this is the uh, diffuser. So you will use the diffuser that is non-aspirating laminar diffuser made of 
SS304 material uh, or aluminum. So this type of uh, diffuser should be used within the uh, operation theater. It will <coughs> supply air within the air velocity, uh, air phase velocity of 25 to 35 FPM. Whenever uh, your velocity is increased, it must disturb the patient. Uh, during operation so this is the main concern and second uh, uh, the third one is the positive pressure so you must pressurize the system with positive pressure like uh, adjacent area should be at negative pressure and the OT must be at positive pressure of 2.5 pascal differential pressure so you must maintain the 2.5 pascal differential pressure with uh, OT and adjoining area so the air must uh, flow from this area toward the outside so no air should be uh, travel from the outside toward operation theater so this area must be positively pressurized and the differential pressure between this OT and the adjoining area should be 2.5 pascal or 0.01 inch of water uh, and uh, the return air uh, diffuser or return air grills should be installed of minimum 2 minimum two minimum two of uh, uh, return air uh, grills should be installed which will be 75 to 150 mm above the floor level so the air pattern uh, is main concern in operation theater which will be like this the air will flow from the laminar uh, non aspirating diffuser toward this uh, doctor and patient and will flow toward these and recirculated uh, through AHU toward this uh, supply diffuser. So this is the main concern. Here, uh, second one is the outdoor air intake. So whenever you install your uh, uh, AHU, you must uh, check the location whenever like uh, uh, AHU is taking air uh, from some area and there is uh, another AHU of lab exhaust like uh, lab exhaust air is exhausted in the environment and the AHU of OT suck this uh, uh, air and supply to the OT which is not recommended so you must uh, install the AHU in some location where there is no other uh, uh, air uh, contaminated air so you must protect your AHU from this air and again the uh, air handling unit filtration system that is recommended by ASHRAE. ASHRAE uh, recommend the uh, air filtration system for uh, operation theater that is the uh, MER 7 filter for pre-filtration and MER 14 filter for final filtration and uh, uh, HEPA filter of H13 and H14 in this laminar uh, laminar non aspirating uh, air diffuser so you must use HEPA H13 H14 in this uh, diffuser and H7 and H14 in H so this is the filtration system of uh, uh, the OT system uh, and uh, for 10 micron you will use 90% efficient filter for 5 micron you will use 99% and for 0.3 micron you will use HEPA uh, H13 or H14 filter and the uh, seven main concern is the temperature and relative humidity you must maintain 27 centigrade uh, for all OT system except joint replacement for joint replacement you will if your operation theater is working for joint replacement for orthopedic uh, doctors you will use 18 centigrade for this OT and uh, 20 to 60 percent of relative humidity which is recommended by HA 170 so you must consider this type of this uh, relative humidity which is the main concern and uh, like we have discussed about the press positive pressure and the air handling uh, filtration system these all are uh, uh, extracted from the FGI CDC and ASHRAE in this document Uh, and the last thing we will discuss is the AHU. AHU should be dedicated one. Uh, it should not be used for other facilities. It will only be used for OT which will supply and recirculate air within the OT. Uh, and no split unit should be used which uh, recirculate uh, air within the, uh, uh, within the OT which can uh, produce some microbial growth and uh, 
other uh, thing so uh, you must uh, paint your uh, ot with antibacterial antifungal paint and out uh, outdoor automatic hermetically sealed touch free preferable this type of door should be used for your ot general lights clean room light should be used for ot provision of safety against static pressure separate power circuit for equipment like laser so this type of uh, thing will be used for uh, ot and uh, last one uh, this some of the uh, tests uh, should be carried out to check the minimum uh, uh, humidity like your operation theater is working on that temperature humidity or not or part air particulate count air change rate and the other HEPA filtration dop test uh, pressure differential test air velocity check so this uh, uh, will be checked after every six months so uh, it shows that your system is maintained and the ot is working on uh, predefined or standard parameters so these all are extracted from these uh, three uh, uh, standards you can study these for uh, your information for OT design this is the general overview of uh, OT uh, here you can see uh, this is the non aspirating laminar diffuser this diffuser should be installed one feet uh, one feet uh, uh, from the foot of the doctor like uh, here you can see this is the doctor, this is the patient and this is the table. So the air will be, uh, must be provided one feet uh, toward this uh, foot. So it must cover the whole area and no contaminant should flow toward this uh, table and doctor. Uh, and the air should be flow from the operation theater toward the other facilities. And this type of diffuser should be used and this type of air pattern should be used. So these all are recommended. These all are main concerns, ACH, temperature, humidity, uh, type of diffuser, that is group E, you must use group E type of diffuser which is recommended by ASHRAE, here you can see supplier diffuser within the primary supplier diffuser array, group E, non-aspirating type diffuser should be used um, like this and the air pattern uh, should, uh, should be like this to protect the patient from the contaminants so these are the some uh, pictures showing the uh, operation theater this is the diffuser non aspirating laminar made of ss304 and this is the uh, one two three four these are diffuser are connected in this way so it provide a laminar flow and uh, it should be one feet uh, toward the foot of the uh, uh, pay, uh, doctor so it must protect all of them and this is the operation theater so you can see here the airflow will, will be from here to this area and it will cover all of the table and the airflow pattern from uh, flow from like this toward this from this toward this so this is the basic design of OT you can ask questions and comments i will uh, define other parameters if you need so thank you for watching my video and keep watching my channel uh, and my videos so and suggest me the topics what kind of videos you will need and what kind of uh, things you are want to learn about the hvac system thank you